What's up guys welcome back I am here with another Raspberry Pi video in this video I am going to show you how you can make a simple NAS server with this tiny little single board computer Raspberry Pi so guys let's get started Welcome again guys and to make an NAS with your Raspberry Pi you will need 4 things and the first thing is you will need a Raspberry Pi 2 or 3 and you will need some kind of a storage device to store all your data I am going to use a 32 GB flash device and also you can use a portable USB HDD like this one it will also work but yes it will need extra power and to power this up you will need a powered usb cable or powered usb hub and you also need a usb cable to power your raspberry pi and you also need a internet connection first power up your raspberry pi by plugging the power cable here and connect the usb flash drive here and if you have a Wi-Fi dongle then please connect it and configure it as I don't have a Wi-Fi dongle I am going to use Ethernet cable so I am going to connect my Ethernet cable here and yes I am done now I am going to start the tutorial and at first you need to be connected with your Raspberry Pi for this you need to have a software called Putty I have already installed it but you have to install it you will find a link in the description so please check the description and download the software called putty then install it and after installing it open the software and after opening the software this will look something like this and here you need to enter the IP of your Raspberry Pi I think you probably know the IP of your Raspberry Pi if you don't know the IP of your Raspberry Pi then please check out my other videos they are linked down below in the description so the IP of my Raspberry Pi is 192.168.0.106 and leave the port as it was and click open and log in as Pi and the default password is Raspberry and at first please make sure to update your Raspberry Pi I have already updated mine so I'm not going to do that so at first I am going to execute this command this will install Samba for your kind knowledge uh, that Samba is a file sharing software for Linux and type Y and enter and you can install Samba and share your files from Linux to Windows and this process will take some time and as you can see the software has finished downloading and installing then you need to execute this command please check the description for the commands I have given all the commands in the description so this command will copy the configuration file of Samba please make sure to do, the, do this please make sure to do this because something please make sure to do this because if something happens then you will have your backup and then in to make a folder called storage in the media directory you can name as you like but make sure to put the same name in all the command here also copy that this no no before this you will need to enter another command to 
to check the hard drive partition name and to mount the hard drive to a folder and my hard drive no sorry my not my hard drive and my pen drive is hdf5 dev hdf5 so please be sure to check so i'm going to copy that and we did that to sd1 to sd5 please make sure to replace the number of your hard drive of our your pen drive's name it could be sda or sdb or sdc anything then hit enter this will no warning it seems to be mounted read only oh sorry before that you need to unmount the pen drive so the mount then you need to execute the command again seems to be read only oh I forgot to install another software if you have a hard drive or a pen drive in ntfs format so please install the software called ntfs 3g i am going to put this command in the description so please check the description As you can see it has installed the software so I'm going to again execute the command oh it says the volume may be already mounted so I'm going to unmount it so do you mount dev as it is 5 and again execute the command and I think it is going to work now wait for some time and yes it finally mounted the USB flash drive to media stress folder so I'm going to check it CD media storage and ls yes my test video is here so all the command worked now i am going to execute this command and be sure to put this command no not this command this text copy it and paste it to paste the text in the command line you need to press the right click and this is the name of your folder in samba server and this is the path of your location of the files that you want to share and you need to do another thing that go down go down go down and no go down and uh, here on the authentication page uh, on the authentication page remove the hash and you have done all the work then type control and x type y and hit enter 
and you need to restart your Samba server copy the command paste it and it will restart the Samba server and they need to add a user to the Raspberry Pi to access your Samba server from Windows or Android and I'm going to add a user called NAS you can name add and I'm going to op and I am going to open a name and I'm going to open a user name uh, as NAS you can name it as you like so copy it paste no not that one copy that yes it hit enter and set the password and you need to add this user to samba server and enter the password of your samba server for this user and user edit and if you want to run your samba server 24 7 and on every restart then you need to mount your usb hard drive or usb flash drive every time to the storage folder and for this you need to go to the etcfs tab and open it on a text editor copy that I'm going to open it in the editor and enter this command in here and make sure to change the name or the address of your hard drive or flash drive then control X Y and hit enter and this is all you had to do and now finally you have a Samba server and go to the network folder on windows wait for some time and here is my raspberry pi open it it will ask for username and password i am going to enter the username and i am going to enter the password hit enter or click ok and here it is go to NAS, no that's not my directory storage and here it is my test video open this and yes that's it guys this is a 1080p video and it plays the file with no buffering I'm going to cancel it and guys here is the full tutorial and if you liked it then please make sure to hit the like button and if you want more videos like this tutorial then make sure to subscribe and please share this video with your friends and please check out my other videos guys that's it i will see you in the next video until that goodbye